Hey guys, Vertus Education here with episode 7 of the Unreal Engine 4 Beginner Tutorial Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking what we did earlier in the previous episode, where we made some basic objects, and we're going to be making them a little bit more complex, and modifying them a little bit to make more custom and usable shapes. So, for the most part, we made very primitive shapes in the last episode, and we just rotated them, and, you know, put them together, just like Lego, basically, to form the structure of our buildings. Albeit, they're not very detailed. So, before I do go into anything, I just want to show you what we did create. We've got a bunch of just pretty much square blocks here, and I've just placed them around to make the walls. However, you know, this doesn't look very much house-like. So, having said that, we're going to be playing around with things to modify this geometry. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick example of, you know, some of the different modifications that we can do. So I'm just going to go ahead and just quickly do some stuff here without telling you anything. And you can see that I'm splitting up my option, uh, my objects and, you know, I can move faces up, down, you know, to create more complex geometry. And that's what we're really going to be doing today, really, is just making our geometry a little bit more complex. So, you know, we actually have more control over what the geometry is, how we can use it, and you know, just the uh, the possibilities are endless really. So, having said that, instead of just rotating and making blocks to put them together, we can actually make more complex geometry out of single pieces. For example, this little floorway that I have here is actually just one piece with a bunch of extrusions on it, and uh, you know, it's all used to create these more complex usable shapes. So, let's just go ahead and uh, give you a rundown. So I'm just going to quickly open up the level again, and just so we have a fresh base from where we was in the previous episode. So, what I'm going to do here is quickly delete the roof so we can actually see what we're doing. Now, inside of this, I'm just going to go ahead and drag a quick box in. doesn't necessarily have to be this big, but nonetheless, this should suffice. Now, we can actually go ahead and modify this box to make it a little bit more, well, you know, less boxy so going over to the geometry editing mode we actually have this little blue thing that goes around this object and we now have the option to modify three different things about the object those being the faces being the polygons the lines which are the edges and lastly the vertices which are the little uh, corners of the shape and these objects these little pieces the vertices the lines and the faces we can actually modify these using the transformation tools to rotate them to scale them or even just move them from left to right to create these more you know complex shapes so let's just go ahead and uh, show you what we can do so once you've actually gone into geometry mode with an object selected we can go ahead and select uh, you know a different item on that object so let's just go ahead and start off by selecting a face on a box this is gonna do now from here I can actually go ahead and move it up I can move it down I could move it left I could move it right and whatnot just just to show you how you can really manipulate your objects just make sure you just play around with that and do that so I'm just going to quickly press Control Z a few times to get back to what we had before. So I can show you that we have two different types of modification in the form of just editing, which I showed you, which is completely shifts uh, an object well, as soon as this unfreezes. So you can see here, I've got a couple of pieces and there's just different sections which have been extruded out. However, it's all one big piece of geometry. So having said that, if I wanted to, I could extrude out the face of this uh, shape here. And I could do that just by pressing extrude, and we get these options here. I could set a length, so I'm just going to set this to 500. And I'm just going to go ahead and press apply as soon as it wants to make it. Uh, but it doesn't. And there we go, you can see we've actually now got an additional segment. So I'm just going to press apply again and again, and you can see it's making additional segments. And now we actually have different areas that we can control. For example, if we wanted to, we could move this face down. We could move this face down even more. And I could even go ahead and move this one down even more. And it just shows you that we can play around with each and every individual little shape that we have here. Now, that's pretty much really all you need to know about faces, that you can move them, you can rotate them, you can scale them. You know, let me just show you uh, scaling a face real quick, so I can just select it, and I can scale it just like that. Anyway, 
So that's pretty much everything you need to know about faces. Next we have lines. Lines are essentially these little edges on a shape. What we can do with those is we can move them up, down, uh, left and right. And you'll see that whenever you move a line it's going to move the vertices next to it along with it. You can see they shift with, uh, with the little pieces that I'm moving along here. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, whenever you do move a line, typically it is going to make an extra triangle because you can't really do it so well with just polygons. So just keep that in mind. So you know, you can say I can move it left, right, I can move it down, I can move it backwards and forwards and whatnot to really customize my shape a little bit more here. So lastly, what we can do is we can play around with the little vertexes here and we can just move these to have complete control. Like previously we saw us shifting whole faces which would really drag the entire object. You saw us moving lines which would move both vertices or any attached to that line. And we can also just completely control with one single point on that mesh and then move it around wherever we like just using the transformation tools as I showed you previously. Now, having said that, we can make some really complex shapes here. So, as you can see here, I've got some weird kind of deformed shape, but it just goes to show you that we can complete, uh, com uh, we can create something very unique and great building-wise. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and delete this object, and then I'm going to make a new box, and you're going to see some other little things we can play around with. That being flip and split. So, with geometry mode on again, I'm just going to go ahead and select, uh, select a face, so we can show you what flipping does. Flipping essentially just completely turns the face inside out. Having said that, it's not visible um, on the outside anymore, but it will be visible on the inside. Uh, this doesn't necessarily work too well if you have a hollow object, it's just going to pretty much just flip it over. You're going to see the same thing because it's, there's a face on both sides. Now, the reason for flipping a face like this might be because you might want it to be inside of a building or you just don't want it to be seen for performance reasons. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and just flip this back up, you know, and just play around with that. So having said, just give it a go and see what you can do. Now, the next little modifier that I really wanted to show you was split. Now, this is absolutely great. If I go ahead and select a line just by clicking on it here and pressing split, it actually just halves that line in between and makes a new one. From here, we actually have two different sections of our little shape here. If I wanted to, I could further proceed to just split in between the middle of that, and I have even more sections and just a lot more control. So, now that I've done that, let me just quickly drag this up, and it should make a little cone shape, and it should look pretty darn awesome just like this. So having said that, play around with the different shapes that I show, uh, the different shapes, try playing around with their faces, their lines and the vertices to make these really cool complex shapes. In the next episode we're going to be playing around with them a little bit more maybe, uh, or even just throughout the series as we create more complex objects. So thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe, don't forget to play around with all the stuff in this video and I will see you next time. Goodbye.